everyone. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a temporary car jumper if your battery's dead out of 18 volt lithium ion batteries. So I have a couple of these 18 volt lithium ion batteries for my power tools. And I've done this before with actually just one battery and done it successfully. I have a small car, um, a Toyota Corolla, but with two of them, it's a lot of power and easily cranked it over. Probably would have done it 10 times. Um, so these are the things you need. Uh, you, can, you can get away with one if you have a small car. I would imagine two of these would probably start a truck. You need your batteries and some wire leads like this that I made previously, which are about six inches long with a section cut out in the middle for the jumper cables to attach to. We're gonna bridge the terminals on the batteries and then have two leads for the jumper cables to connect to and then just walk out with the battery pack, connect the jumper cables to it and start the car. So two of these, I labeled this one positive. I have another one labeled negative, a piece of cardboard and some tape. I like masking tape, but you can use any kind of tape. So here we go. So first start with either one of them. I'm going to start with the negative in this case and you want to cut a little piece of cardboard like so that is going to fit into this so I want it a little thinner and this is so we can put pressure on the wire with the tape so that it makes good contact with the terminal so take a piece of cardboard about that big fold it onto itself a couple times so that it looks something like this put your negative wire there on the negative terminal and then push this down onto it so that's creating pressure to hold it in place this piece is cut so that it fits right in that slot you put some pressure on it and then pull the tape around it while you're holding the pressure down. And then the wire is pretty snug in there. But to increase the pressure a little bit further, I like to put another piece of tape and really push it on there. You start at the middle and put pressure and then pull the sides and then the tape holds the pressure in place. So these are pretty fragile, but they'll hold long enough to get a jump in place. So then we do another one of these, make another strip, fold it over onto itself like so, and now we want to do the same thing with the positive. And once these are going like this, you don't want them to touch because you'll short out your battery. All right. So we have that one nice and tight. All right. Now we do the same thing for the other battery. Cut another strip. Fold it over. Put a piece of tape on it. And we're going to touch negative to negative. So we're going to go like this. Another piece of tape. Make sure it's on there really good making good contact. It should be snug. You could pull them loose if you try to lift the batteries up by the wires, but they're pretty snug. Bend this out of the way. Cut one more. These. Get our tape ready. Fold it over onto itself. You just need something thick enough to make up for the gaps in the plastic right there. Because if you try to put tape on that wire right there, 
it's not going to put enough pressure on the terminal to have a solid connection. So we're going like this. Push it really tight and hold it tight while you put the tape down and then the tape keeps pressure on it. Do one more to make it nice and sturdy. All right, and this battery pack's ready to go. One thing that is nice to do is to just tape, tape the two batteries together um, so that it's nice and sturdy when you go outside. Start. With a couple strips. Like so. And then loop one around there. We have a battery pack ready to go jump. We'll put the positive jumper cable there, negative there, and start the car right up. This is just a temporary quick fix. Uh, I know a lot of people have power tools like this either in their cars. I actually once jumped mine because I had it in my car. And I just need to get a new battery, but I procrastinated on it. And it's so easy for me to figure out multiple ways to jump my car that I just really haven't put the time in to just go buy a battery and throw it in there. I'm gonna do it now because it's, it's winter here, but these things work great. I've done it many times. Please like, comment, and subscribe if this helped you jump your car.